Oh my god, it's actually smoking at the moment. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're gonna talk about the new weapons. We're gonna talk about the Victus, we're gonna talk about the Bass, and we're gonna talk about the M13. We're gonna make a separate video about the M13, how you uh, how you acquire the M13, but we're now gonna talk about how they work. I've made some loadouts, I've made the base uh, weapons, the Victus and the Bass, and then I made like the meta loadout, which is uh, the Victus again and the Bass, but how I would use it and how you would use these weapons, for example, in multiplayer or in the big maps or even Warzone or DM DMC. And then I have the same thing for the M13, I have base version of the M13, and then I have the quote unquote meta version of the M13, especially for the Warzone. And I'm going to show you how they work, how's the recoil and everything. And I'm going to tell you what I feel about the weapons. Let's start with the uh, let's start with the sniper and the SMG. Unfortunately, I think the SMG is a bit of a pea shooter, but the sniper reminds me a lot about the AX50. It sounds a lot like the AX50, and it works a lot like the AX50. You could also compare this to like the Cold War Tundra, especially with the reticle. But the reticle is the same that's in, that is in tund uh, with the Tundra and the AX50. And this is a relatively uh, easy gun to use. It's a 50 cal, so uh, it has high bullet velocity and it also slaps pretty hard on the So there's nothing really that strange about this. But let's talk about the SMG. I'm going to show you now just the base. I'm not controlling the recon, just pressing the uh, fire button. As you can see, the bullets are going all over the place with the hip fire. And also if you ADS, there's a lot of sideways bouncing and there's a lot of things going on. So, and the bullet velocity on this SMG is really bad compared to like high, high the fire radius. So this is a bit of a pea shooter when you start leveling this weapon. So uh, it's going to be a tough thing. Maybe go into the tier 1 playlist and play there. Or if you want to play the normal playlist, go to shoot house and just level this level this bad boy up. But as it is now in the stock version, I say this is a really bad gun in general. Uh, let's change to the metal loadouts. So with the Victus, uh, of course, you're going to use the high velocity 50 cal bullets. And you're going to tune it to max bullet velocity and max damage range. Uh, you're going to take the Bruin L40 Cobra uh, silencer, max bullet velocity and like halfway through the recoil smoothness. So it actually helps you recenter the weapon uh, faster. Then you take the longest barrel, which is the Mark 33.5 Super and max damage range and a little bit more aiming walking speed. So you are actually like a little bit more agile by using this. Uh, use a laser. I take this one because it increases ADS time and sprint to fire and aiming stability. So that's a good one. And also, this is just a prefer uh, preference uh, issue. I like using a lar larger uh, round Mac when I play Warzone. So I use a seven round. You can use a nine round if you want to, or you can put a stock or something that would, for example, increase the stability or idle sway. But Overall, basically just max bullet velocity and max damage range, and you're good to go. This is a, this is a laser, and then we're gonna go to the Bass SMG, 50 round drum mag. Of course, the large, uh, the biggest magazine you can get. Uh, unlike in the previous games, you don't take the Commando for grip. You take the Nexus grip, and the Nexus grip you're gonna tune into uh, a little bit more to the recoil stabilization. But because this is an SMG, you don't want to go full. Uh, on recoil stabilization because you will lose the ADS time. You're going to use the EXF Huntress 90 because of the sound suppression, bullet velocity and recoil control. And this is going to help you hit those shots way more often. Max bullet velocity, a real little bit uh, to the recoil smoothness like halfway through and that's going to be a banger. Uh, to the barrel you don't need to do anything, you just take the longest barrel that promises you more damage range and more uh, bullet velocity and that's going to be a good one. To use and I like to use the no stock because it just increases your movement speed. You can use anything else you want, but the no stock is working for me just because it increases the movement speed quite a lot. And that's it. that is basically uh, how I tune these two weapons. And let's go see how they work in the firing range. So the sniper is really hard to see, but as a matter of fact, it's a little bit more lay like a hit scan now that we increase the bullet velocity. 
like it's just a little bit more faster and you don't need to like uh, take into consideration uh, bullet drop that much so it's just an easier gun to use but with the smg even though we put all the attachments in as you can see it's still quite hard to uh, control i didn't control uh, like ads Please. as you can see there's a lot of things going on a lot of like smoke and cluttering my gun is actually smoking at the moment and uh, a lot of like uh side bubble but at least now it hits and because of the fast uh, fire rate you're gonna destroy your enemies faster but oh, i think like the final verdict for the smg is it's really fucking bad level it up if you want to but this is nowhere near going to be even viable in warzone in my opinion it it was actually really bad also in in multiplayer so there are better options than the new smg unfortunately the sniper is like perfection like that that's definitely going to and i also i i saw a lot of like streamers using the sniper already when they were playing warzone and i'm definitely going to use it too let's talk about the m13 so the m13 is in my opinion even though the hit fire is dog awful but when you start aiming, there is little to no recoil. Like, this is one of the most easiest guns to use. There's a little bit of, like, that normal side-to-side -side bubble, but... Overall, uh, when I was leveling this weapon, this was really easy to use. Even without any attachments. But let's go see my meta build. And this is basically for if you want to use this in Warzone. 60 round mag, the VLK4 optic. You could, you could choose whatever optic you want. But this is a good optic in my opinion. Then you don't take the Commander 4 creep. You take the F-Tac Reaper. It's a better one. Uh, recoil stabilization, the max. And that's about it. You take the Harbringer D20 uh, muscle. Because bullet velocity, damage range, recoil smoothness. And you just max out bullet velocity and go halfway, just a bit over halfway for the recoil smoothness. And longest barrel, as always, 14 inches, Bruin, Echoelum. And max damage range, and you don't need to do anything on the other side. Pretty simple. Like, pretty similar to uh, the ones we had in Modern Warfare 2019 and also in Warzone 1. And it's a bit it, it's a bit slower to use, but it just hits a bit faster, and it's like it's still really easy to use, even though it's a bit slower. But this is supposed to be that mid range to long range uh, gunfights, and it's just a laser. So this is this is gonna be a good option if you want to have a like easy gun to use. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this gun is a pea shooter. Like, I noticed in the multiplayer that it was losing to every single fucking other gun. Like, this this gun shoots keys. That's about it. Like, I, I wouldn't recommend using this in Warzone, especially because there are better wa weapons. There are There is, for example, the STP-556. There is the uh, TAC, for example. There is the RPK. There are a lot of, like, other weapons to use instead of this one, which which are more effective. Even though this is still the easiest guns to control, it's a pea shooter, so not gonna go with this one. But it's a fun gun to it's an easy gun to level and it's a fun gun to use. Unfortunately, it's not going to be that effective and not going to be, be meta map for my in my opinion. So those are the new guns. Technically, one out of three is viable in Warzone. I, I can't say it's meta. A meta sniper because i haven't tried it that much but i'm gonna test it out in the war zone and i'm gonna let you guys know how the sniper is working out is it meta is it viable what it is but the smg and the m13 isn't going to be in in the meta in war zone and even in multiplayer in modern warfare 2 don't use them there are better guns than those thanks for watching guys remember to subscribe because i upload daily hit the bell notification button so you get notified like the video and comment down below. Have you enjoyed the season one so far? Have you had your first win in Warzone? And as always, thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one.